Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. Happy Father's Day, dads. Hey, did you remember to wish your dad a happy Father's Day? Don't forget. Yeah, don't forget. Well, God tells us in the Bible to honor our father and our mother. Remember which commandment that was? Fifth commandment. Mm -hmm. Remember the fifth commandment? Yep, yep. Well, the dictionary says the word honor means to think of with great respect. And res when you respect someone, you admire them and look up to them like your parents. They love you. They take care of all your needs. They feed you. They clothe you. They give you a home to live in. They teach you right from wrong. Well, we should love them and respect them and honor them because they love us. They loved us first. But more important, we should honor them because God told us to honor Amen. them. Amen. Yeah. So uh, we're going to tell you a story today. Mr. Meyer is going to read about a woman named Ruth and her mother-in-law, Naomi. Uh, Naomi, and how Naomi. she honored her. Okay. Um, and again, our verse for this week is, uh, honor your father and mother, and that's Exodus 20, 12. Mm -hmm. Many years after God gave the commandments, there lived in Bethlehem a woman named Naomi. She and her husband had two sons. There wasn't enough food in their country, so the family had to move from uh, far away to Moab. Later, Naomi's husband died. Her sons grew up and married women from Moab. After 10 years, both, Naomi son, both Naomi's sons died too. Naomi was left only with her son's wives, Ruth and Orpah. Naomi decided to move back to Bethlehem. She told her daughters-in-law, go back to your families. They will take care of you. So Orpah packed up her things and said goodbye. Ruth also packed her things, but instead of saying goodbye to Naomi, Ruth said, where you go, I will go. Where your people will be, your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Mm. Ruth saw that Naomi was old and needed help. Naomi had no one to take care of her. So Ruth made her long journey with Naomi back to Bethlehem. Ruth and Naomi had no money for food. So every day Ruth would go out into a field and pick grain where the workers would leave a small amount of grain left over. Um, a man named Boaz, who would go out and watch his, uh, the workers in the field, uh, saw that what Naomi was doing, or what, what, what Ruth was doing, picking up the extra grain. And she, he inquired where she was from. And he said, she's from Moab. Boaz learned all about Ruth and told her, my God, may God do special things for you because you honor Naomi. Mm -hmm. God did do special things for Ruth. <clears throat> it didn't take long for Boaz to fall in love with Ruth. Ruth and uh, Boaz married. Boaz was a very good husband, and that was a, uh, a blessing from God. Next, God blessed Ruth with a baby. This baby would become the grandfather of King David. And years later, Jesus would be born in David's family line. God bless Ruth because she honored her mother-in-law, Naomi. Wow. And she, by honoring her mother-in-law, Naomi, she was obeying God's law mm -hmm. to honor your parents. And that was her mother-in-law besides. Right. She showed honor to her. Well, God blessed her and he blesses us when we obey his word and do the right thing. Ruth took care of her elderly mother-in-law because there was no one else to take care of her, and God took care of Ruth. God gave her a husband, a child who was going to be used to be in the line of uh, Jesus, wow. King David's grandfather, and then Jesus would be born in that same line. So how special was that? And now, today, we remember Ruth. She's in the Bible because of that uh, um, honor she gave her, her mother-in-law. So we have her to remember uh, her example. Um, I wanted to read a verse to you um, about obeying. Uh, it's from John 14, verse 21, and it says, whoever has my commands and obeys them, and we have his commands, we have the Ten Commandments, he is the one who loves me. 
He who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. Wow. When you think of God's great love for us, how he died to take our sin away, because our sin meant death for us. We can't get into heaven with our sin, and somebody had to die. Jesus took our place. When you think of that, he died for me. He took my place. When you think of that, it should make you love him. And if you love him, he says we should obey him. That shows you love someone when you Amen. obey them. So um, he first loved us. We should love him in response to that great love. And then love him by receiving that gift that he gave us. Remember, he died so we don't have to, but that gift is there. You've got to take it. Mm -hmm. So what God expects us to do or wants us to do is to acknowledge, yes, I'm a sinner. And I believe he died, Jesus died for my sins and ask him to be your savior because he is the savior of the world. He died for the world. And then confess your sins to him. Tell him you're sorry for your sins and ask him to be your savior. Call on the name of Jesus. So when you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead to save us, you will be, you saved. Will be saved. Amen. That's the plan of salvation right there for you. Mm. So we want each one of you boys and girls to come to him, to realize he is the Savior. We need him. But then when you show your love to him by receiving him, he blesses and he uses you. Look how he used Ruth. He wants to use you too. Mm -hmm. He wants to use you in the lives of people around you. But you have to come to him first by believing and receiving him as your Savior. Amen. So boys and girls, do that. Mm -hmm. In the quietness of your heart, receive him as your Savior. And then God's going to do great things through you too because he wants to use us. Amen. 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 Remember, our Bible verse for this week is honor your father and mother. And, um, Bless mom and dad this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget again to wish dad happy Father's Day. And enjoy your and day with your family. Let's yeah. close in prayer. Okay. And Lord, thank you for life. Thank you for always being there for yes. us, Lord. Thank you for dads who love you mm. and, uh, just, and just instill good things in us, Lord. And uh, we just pray for all dads out there, Lord, mm -hmm. that they will do things that are honorable and pleasing to you and everything. Yes. And help our boys and girls, Lord, to, to just do things that are honorable and pleasing to you also yes. lord and we just pray lord for our country we mm. pray for truth lord yes, God. be with everybody out there today lord mm. and just bless this week coming week we thank you in jesus name amen, amen. god bless have a great week and happy miss Father's you guys Day. take Bye. care